so all right so we're gonna be looking the first game we're gonna start with is alpha zero against stockfish this is a very well-known game from the uh uh queen's indian defense from their their match i believe it was played at um i think it was played in london at deep mind headquarters prior to um prior to uh prior to the london chess classic in 2018 or 2017 i believe it was so all right so the game started knight f3 knight f6 g3 uh east or not g3 sorry d4 e6 c4 b6 g3 bishop b7 bishop g2 bishop b7 castles castles a d5 is split i'm i'm i have a side of a bunch of games you guys so we're i'm just gonna go through all the games um a little little bit too hard kind of just cherry pick everything and i don't actually have a uh i don't have a pgn with the uh, alpha zero lila games from the uh from the book i think it is the recent book they published so um uh so all right so d5 is split i was um i was quoted saying stockfish did not have optimal settings can i elaborate that sure why not um so yeah, before we get into, uh, can we get some Nugibles? Sorry, what is Nugibles? Nugibles music? Am I am I stupid? Is this where people are gonna call me out? Sorry, who are the Nugibles? Nugibles, Nugibles. I don't know who the Nugibles are. Sorry. Um, but yeah. So, um, sorry, sorry, Buns Bunny. I don't know who the or Buns Boy. I don't know who the Nugibles are. Um, anyway. Uh, so, so yeah, so besides just looking at games, I'll try to um, clarify a little bit as well what I meant by my comment about Stockfish. So I'm not a computer expert or whiz by any stretch of the imagine, imagination to begin with. Um, but what I would say is that, one second, let me turn the music down just a touch. Um, um, so yeah, so what I was gonna say is that um, I'm not a computer expert by any stretch of the imagination. Um, <laughs> Nova came for the soul says, why am I dressed like Burt Reynolds? <laughs> Burt Reynolds, or um, uh, thank you, and Neuter, too, for uh, continuing the gift stuff you got from GM John Davis 59. Um, but yeah, why am I dressed like Burt Reynolds? Or I guess the other one would be Tom Selleck, but like from Magna PI. Um, BJH gets it, yeah, Hikaru PI. I mean, I, I'm a big, uh, big Magna PI fan. You want me to turn the sound back up? Okay, I was trying to talk, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, thank you, Marinella, Marinella B, for subscribing to Tier 1 Sub. Um, so, as I was starting to say before you guys got me distracted and started saying I'm Tom Selleck, um, is uh, that I'm not a computer expert, but my understanding behind the games that were played between um, Alpha Zero and Stockfish at, um, at DeepMind headquarters is they basically put... They, um, they, they basically put... Uh, they basically put Stockfish on a, on a weaker laptop without optimal settings, in the sense that it was on weaker hardware to begin with. Thank you, uh, Vandark Home 420, for the four month resub. So it was on a weaker computer to begin with. That's the first thing. And then the second thing, um, is this rematch is not. If you, if anybody has access to the, um, to the, uh, chess chess games website, I think there's a PGN available for the. Uh, there's a PGN available. Let me actually send somebody the link in case anybody actually can send me the PGN of that. Um, let me find it. yeah okay um so i think on chess games they have it they have the three match games so i'm not a pro uh, subscriber to the site so i don't have access to the game so if somebody does and they could get me um get me a pgn of those games i totally would uh i'll look at those too um i'll look at pretty much anything you guys want me to look at if you have the pgns available so thank you the lister for the three month resub um but basically my understanding is it was on weaker hardware and also they were setting it with um I think essentially the it was was it one minute per move is what is what the parameters were um so i think the parameters were favorable because my understanding of stockfish does not function where it makes uh moves in like one minute it will use maybe 30 seconds here and five minutes here but it doesn't one minute per move is not the um optimal setting for stockfish is my understanding so it was on weaker hardware and they had um and it was on weaker hardware and the time control was not set appropriately that that being said i do think that alpha zero is definitely stronger than stockfish now but i'm not convinced that it was when they did this first test in 2017. so okay so so castles d5 was played this line has been played many times as pawn sack in the queen's indian defense first first person who was super strong to play it i believe was gary kimovich kasparov in the uh i think it was the early 80s it could have been in the late 70s as well but i think it was the early 80s so 
So white plays knight h4 here. Idea to play knight f5, hit the bishop, hit the pawn. You also open the diagonal for white's bishop on g2 as well. Uh, c c6 was played. Is this is this the, is this the uh, is this the old, is this game? This is the old hundred game series. Yes. I mean, if somebody has the has the PGN of the newer games. I'll totally look at the newer games as well. So just um, if somebody's got a PGN of the newer games, I'll, I'll be willing to look at some of those games as well. So black plays c6, white takes. Um, obviously, you don't want to take on d5. Black can take on h4 first of all. Secondly, black can take. And now he's got this bishop on this nice long diagonal as well. Um, so white plays knight f5. Black plays knight to c7. White plays e4. Idea to play queen g4, bishop h6 potentially. Um, try to put a bunch of threats uh, on the G file against Black's King on G8. Um, Sterling Alvary. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, so white tries to create fast development. You sacrifice the pawn here. Um, black plays d5. So now here, um, here queen g4 I think might be playable. I forget exactly how the line goes, but I think it goes something like queen g4. I believe it's bishop f6 and then like knight c3. I think it's like knight d7 idea to play knight e5. I mean, I don't really play the queens any that much these days with either color. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so what am I drinking? Blitzkopf asks, I am drinking Kevita, a sparkling probiotic drink. Uh, the flavor is tangerine. It has, it has approximately 30 calories. It has zero grams of fat, 15 megagrams of sodium, pretty low. Um, two grams of carbohydrate, total carbohydrates, car total carbohydrates, um, two grams of sugar, zero grams of protein, um, 100% of the daily vitamin C intake. It's also 4% juice. So, so pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Um, so yeah, actually, if you do have the game Sterling Albury, uh, send, please send it in a disc, post it in Discord, um, uh, or if you can. It sounds fake. Yes, it sounds very fake. It's not Red Bull, um, and it's not a commercial either. So yes, um, it could be fake. It could also not be fake. Um, now I'll switch over to something else as well. Ah, good. That's nice and warm. We can switch to the third drink. Mm. Now that's some good stuff too. And we can go to the fourth drink as well. Where we're... Mm. Good stuff. Okay. So, all right, you guys, there, there, there I go drinking everything different. Um, okay. So queen g4 is playable, but, um, e takes d5, uh, he takes d5 is what uh is what alpha zero played uh Stockfish played 95 now i know most of these games have been uh have been looked at a lot but i've never actually gone over any of these games um and so for so for that reason uh it's it's also a little bit new for me it's good to see some of these games too because i've never really looked super closely thank you joe tune for the two month resub um so here Alpha Zero played knight c3. Now I'm unfamiliar with ed5, knight d5. I only am familiar with queen g4 and e5 type ideas. Um, but takes on d5 is certainly a little bit different. Um, knight c3 was played. Um, uh, <laughs> somebody said something about something said. Oh, what I wonder is how much black matter did you, did you use in your head beating the commode 20? So those of you who are watching my stream last night, um, it was pretty rough. Uh, like, I mean, it, it was really rough because the problem is when you play a computer, you have to never blunder basically. So after I finished, after Levy and I finished playing the match, I tried playing some blindfold 960 and then I went to normal blindfold. And even in Puzzle Rush, I think my high was like 40 because, or maybe I got 50 on one try, but it's just too much. Like the mental strain of playing against computers really just, uh, it starts to rot your brain after a couple hours. It's just, you, you, you just start to mentally just like collapse. It's just not possible to keep st staying uh, super focused. So, okay, so knight c3. Uh, Stockfish played knight takes c3. Uh, Komodo played queen g4, threatening mate on g7. Black played g6. Um, 
Alpha Zero or Sox played G6. Alpha Zero, Alpha Zero played Knight H6. Um, what level of Komodo did we get to? Uh, we got to level 20. I beat Komodo with um, with White on level 20. Levy could not beat it. Um, uh, but yeah, so Candy rot your brain. That's a good one too. So okay, so Knight H6 was played King G7. B takes C3, and here Stockfish played Bishop C8. Ideally, you want to stop White from bringing the knight back. Um, the drawback here is you'll notice that in this position, if you look at Black's pieces, they're not developed. You have four pieces on the back rank. The bishops are not great. This diagonal is closed, so this extra pawn is, isn't isn't fantastic on C6 here. Um, and this knight on H6 can come to F5. White's got very quick development, also possible control of both the D and the E file as well. So, um... So for that reason, uh, it's it's potentially very good for white. So bishop c8 is what Stockfish played. Hit the queen, stop knight f5. But again, now you put a fifth piece on the back rank. And now c6, if you ever move the knight, will be hanging as well. So uh, so all the pieces are a little bit loose here. Someone asked a question as well saying, do I think if computers advance even further, will, um, will it help us? I don't think it's gonna help us as humans unless someone can magically decipher the code and tell us why computers think the way they do. So like, you know, in this in this game, not in this position, but a few moves from now, there'll be one of these positions where the, you're gonna reach a position where I can't really, I can't even, even at the level I'm at, I can't explain some of the computer moves because they just literally make no sense to me. So, so queen f4 is what uh, alpha zero played. Maybe knight g4, maybe put pressure on the knight, maybe queen e5, maybe queen h6 is coming as well. So now queen d6 is played. So queen d6 was played, uh, alpha zero played queen a4. You don't want to trade queens because obviously if you trade queens here, not only are you down a pawn, but now this knight on h6 is very airy. It's probably going to get trapped here. Um, if I played computer a thousand times, would I become as good as a computer? No, but again, it comes back to what I was saying before. And someone says, yes, so why not queen a4 right away? And this is one of these moments where I go, eh, for whatever reason, I guess queen, queen f4 is better because now you get to hit the queen with bishop f4 or rook d1 and rook e1. Um, but it, this literally is one of these moments where it's like, as a human, I can't understand why the computer plays queen f4. Because it looks like, as a human, you ideally you would go like queen a4 or queen e2. Or queen f4 and queen d6 and maybe something else. But, um, no, but queen f4, bishop g5, you just trade. Ah, no, sorry, sorry. No, no, you're right, actually. You're right. Queen a4 here, you're right. Bishop g5. Yes, very good. Um, bishop g5 and this knight is bad. So, yes, there actually is a logical reason. But... It's very tricky and hard unless somebody can literally like translate the evaluations into actual explanations that humans can understand. There's no way that computers are going to make make us that much better. So queen d4, queen d6, queen a4 is what um, alpha zero played. Uh, Daniel Alessar says this is where the engine is stronger than you. Well, I mean, engines are better than us in many ways. First off, the pure calculation, they never make a calculation error. Humans make calculation error, errors all the time. So first and foremost, um, uh, computers don't make calculation errors. Um, and secondly, besides that, they, they sort of, the positional understanding is just so fundamentally different than, than humans. Like they play perfect chess more or less. Um, oh, right. And there was one other thing I was going to say is that with this match against Stockfish, I thought they had predetermined openings, which I thought also put it at a disadvantage as well. But um, anyway. So queen f4, queen d6, queen a4 was played. Now, Stockfish played g5 to trap the knight. g5 trying to trying to trap the knight and win the knight here. Um, couldn't uh, NN make a calculation error technically? I mean, yes, they can make errors, but the only error that I see computers make these days, which happened in the mat, in, in the, uh, in the match last night uh, when we were all playing Komodo is the horizon effect. Horizon effect is the only thing um, horizon effect is the um, is the only thing that uh, is the only thing that computers are not good at still. Like so when I first started playing computers in the 90s, you know, let's just I'm gonna create a new new line just so you know one of my favorite um, not 
no, sorry. One of my favorite openings to play against Fritz 4, I think it was, um, uh, was, let me see if I can remember how Fritz 4 played it, but it was something like, it was a King's Indian, and I'll give you an example. It's something like this, just normal main line, knight c6, d5, knight e7, knight e1, knight e7. I think it was, was it bishop e3? Yeah, I think it was like f5. No, maybe it wasn't this line. It was, um, how does it go? Yeah, it's something like knight e1, knight e7, bishop e3, f5, f3, f4, bishop f2. I think it's g5, knight e3. And what I would do is, I think against the computer, I'd play like uh, b6 to stop c5. Now, this was like Fritz 4, which was just terrible. Um, and those of you who are saying this dude's memory laugh out loud, yeah, so I'm basically, re I'm vaguely trying to recall opening sequ- No, actually, it wasn't this line. It was, um, it was this line. Sorry, one second. It was this line. And so the computer would play this line, um, and I play like f4, bishop b1. I play b6 to stop c5. Um, and so this was like against Fritz 4, I want to say circa 1998 or 1999. I mean, this is what happens when you waste your life on chess. You remember all these very asinine and unimportant games you played against computers in like, you know, 20, 25 years ago. Um, so I played b6 to stop it. And I think the computer would play something like, play like bishop f2, g5 or something. And it play like, let's just say, I'll make a couple moves, something like this. So it's trying to get c5 and i play like a5 the computer would play like a3 and this is like fritz and i would go bishop a6 so it's like i'm hitting the pawn on c4 um uh one second you guys all things chess one second okay so um oh sorry one second sorry just downloading something um Okay, so I think I have Alpha Zero Stockfish, a whole new collection of all the games. So this is just going to be a 24-hour stream of nothing but but uh, Stockfish and Alpha Zero games today. So, um, uh, so yeah. So getting back to the point. So this is like what I would play against Fritz Four way back in the Stone Age of chess, and um, and basically t Fritz Four would always go B5 because it's like, dude, I'm attacking your pawn on C4. You don't want to move the knight back. I mean, you just want to keep it to maybe keep the knight centralized. And so Fritz Four would always play like B5, and I go Bishop C8. Uh, and I get this closed king side, and I would just I would just do the standard pawn roll on the king side and just checkmate Fritz for every time. Um, so uh, so basically, this is like Fritz for, circa Fritz four. But the point is that you'd get this position where Fritz sees a huge uh, right. What is horizon effect? That's exactly what I'm trying to show here. So you would get a position like this where, as a human, I can tell like my next ten moves are going to be like rook f seven, bishop f eight, rook g seven, h five, g four, g three, or g f three, maybe knight h four. But it's very straightforward. So this is idea number. This is horizon effect number one. Now there's another horizon effect that I'm going to show. So let me just make a couple of random moves just to pr show you guys what I mean. So let's say we reach this position. So. Actually, this is a bad example. Let's just say we reach this position. So this is example number two of the horizon effect. So let's say we reach this position. It's a closed structure completely, right? So all the pawns are on these squares. White has no break, black has no break. But what what, what black does have here is a long-term idea to sack on h3 or f3. So the computer cannot, computer cannot calculate 20 moves deep in this position. But as a human, I can tell that I'm gonna go rook g7, knight g5, knight h8, knight f7, knight g5, and sack on h3. So to give you guys an example, let's say white just plays like, I don't know, rook, let's say bishop c3. Oh, sorry, it's black smooth. So bishop, let's say bishop c3, knight g5. So you're hitting the pawn once. Now let's say white goes queen e2, and now you play rook g7. Let's say white goes knight e3. Now you go knight h8, knight e1, and now you go knight f7. Now you see what's happening here as that basically I'm gonna sack everything on h3 take and then eventually I'm gonna run these two pawns all the way down the board. Um, and so let's just say the computer keeps going. I uh, take, play knight g5. Let's just say knight d3, I take, take, take. And you'll see that here in this position, the problem for white is that I'm just gonna go like bishop d7, h3, h2, g2, and it's completely winning for black. Uh, computer has closed the queen side so there are no real breaks here. And you're just gonna roll these pawns and white's king is gonna get checkmated. So this is a this is a classic example of the horizon effect. Now, mind you, I played this in a slightly wrong order. So, for a computer that looks at the position, it might see some tricks here for white, but the general concept applies. So, I don't understand why engines cannot think of these sacks. Like that should be codable. No. Um, in theory, I I, I mean, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know. But this is the one issue, and I don't have the game in front of me, but now let's let's flip the board. Um, maybe I'll just pull it up. Um, let me find that there was, um, 
Let me find this Gary. There was this, um... There was this game, Kasparov Deep Jr. Um, this is another version of Horizon. Let me see if I can pull up the game. Give me one second, you guys. Okay. No, this is not the right game. Um... One second. Uh... Okay, one second. Okay. This one, let me see. One second. You guys are trying to find uh, find the game, so I have the example. Just give me one second. Uh, now where is it? One second. I know. Sorry, what, it was it wasn't Kaspar. It was um one second. It was Kaspar of Deep Fritz, I think it was. Let me let me see if I can find it. Um. Let me see. There we go. Um, I think it was this game. Let me see. One second, you guys. Let me. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah. So okay, you guys. So yeah. So let me show you. So this is an example. This was a uh, the game Kasparov versus uh, Deep Fritz X three D Deep Fritz. I think it was. So it was Knight F three, Knight F six, um, C four E six, Knight C three D five, D four C six E three. So this is how the game goes. Um, e3, a6, c5, we close the structure. Knight bd7, uh, b4. And now, so here, like, this is an even more basic version. Um, but the way the game went was Deep Fritz played a5, Kasparov played b5, Deep Fritz played e5, um, Kasparov played queen a4, the computer played queen c7, Kasparov played bishop a3, it played e4, knight d2, bishop e7, and now Gary played b6. So. Like, this is another... No, this is a horizon effect. This is completely a horizon effect that I'm showing you guys here that occurred in the Gary game. So, the reason that I say this is a horizon effect is because if you look at the position, it looks relatively okay. White can't really try to win the pawn right away. There are threats with knight b6 because of the pin. So, if you go, like, queen d8, knight b3, castles, knight a5, I'm not sure, but I think black can maybe take, 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 and take. And you have issues on, on um, a5 with the knight here. So you can't really grab the pawn right a bit right away, but there is a serious problem, which is that longer term, this pawn on a5 is going to become a weakness because eventually I can gang up and put stuff on d2 and just grab the pawn on a5, which is kind of what happens in this game. So it goes like, you know, h3, castles, knight b3, computer gets all cheeky with bishop d6, you can't take, because then after knight b6, your queen is trapped. Um, but after rook b1, bishop b7, you'll see Gary was able to take the pawn on a5, Computer played knight b8, he played bishop b4 to support the knight on a5, queen d7, rook b2, so now queen f5, you're uh, supporting it with the rook on b2, and then it went um, queen e6, queen d1, knight fd7, Gary played a3, again avoiding tricks with takes, takes, and winning the knight on a5, uh, computer played queen h6, Gary played knight b3, bishop h4, Gary played queen d2, knight f6, and now Gary played king d1, just shuffling the king over, bishop e6, king c1, Rook d8, and now Gary played rook c2, knight d7, king b2, knight f8, and now I believe he just played a4, and basically the point is white just pushes the pawn to a6, puts the knight on a5, he can eventually finish de development with bishop b2 and rook a1 or g3, and the point is that like, so when I say horizon effect, this is a perfect example of horizon effect, in that when the computer played a5 all the way back on move, um, on move 7, maybe not here already, maybe there's some tricks, but point is when the computer plays a5 here it just completely misses that once the structure gets fixed with b6 that long term white can just come up with a very basic plan to try and capture the pawn and eventually win so this is also a horizon effect where the computer just doesn't understand that long term you can collect the pawn on a5 so um horizon effect is, is the only as far as I know at the moment, the only weakness computers have. It's the only weakness. But to get the horizon effect, you need pawn structures where you get like connect four or connect five, where you get these these opposing pawn chains going one way or the other. It, as in this um, Queen's Gambit decline, or as in you, as you see in the King's Indian. So basically, the the, mo the, the moral of the story um, the moral of the story is that as a human, you need to get it. You need to get a connect four pawn structure against the computer, or else you're just going to lose. Um, it's due to lack of depth. I'm not a computer programmer, so I can't can't answer that question. But um, 
but it, it, it certainly is an issue still. I, I haven't played Alpha Zero, so I have no idea, but um, at least even with Leela, Komodo, and Stockfish, it still is a problem. Um, so, whoa, thank you, Chess Society, for raiding with a party of 39. Thank you so much, Chess Society, for the raid with 39 viewers. Thank you so much. Um, uh, but yeah, this is the only thing that still exists with humans that I would say is, um, is uh, it still exists. So, all right, so let's get back to this game now. So, or actually, just since I was showing that point with the Connect 4, you'll see. So, like, when you when you reach the structure with this, these pawn chains, you'll notice this line I was showing you in the, um, in the King's Indian. Something similar, you'll notice. Exact same thing. You have opposing pawn chains going in the opposite directions. Um, and so that's the only way that you can beat, uh, you can only beat computers anymore. Um, what about the Pac-Man effect? I assume by that you mean that, let me give you an example, you guys. So I think what you guys are saying by that is let's say, um, how do I do this? Uh, okay, let me let me just make a couple of moves here. Uh, how do I do this? Let, let me find some way to trade the queens here. Oh, it's check, okay. So I'll just take, let me... Um, let me like, how do I do this? Um, oh, it's white's move. Okay, one second. How do I give up my queen? So uh, the by the stockfish or the pin Pac-Man effect, I assume you mean something like let's just set up this position, for example. Um, so takes. I'll I'll take back this way. Um, how do I do this? I'm just trying to set up a position for you guys. Actually, this doesn't work. So let me go back. Um, how do I set this up? One second. I'm trying to do this just randomly. Pac-Man effect is um is something different. So how do I do this? Let's see. So I take. What's a good example of it? Oh, uh, good. Ex okay, I figured it out. Here's a good example. So let's say we reach some position. Um, let me see. How do I do this? Uh, maybe something like this. I take. Okay, yeah. So here's an example of a uh, Pac Man effect. Okay, so you'll see that we've reached this position. I'm just going to put everything back here. Just make a couple of random moves. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering what am I doing? Um, but you'll notice, so we've reached this position, um, which objectively should be a draw. This should objectively be a draw uh, because the position is still very closed. White has no breakthrough. But the point here is that white has two rooks for two pieces. So, so um, mathematically, white is up. Uh, white is up two rooks for two minors, so white is winning. But due to um, maybe they fix this now, but in the old days there was a an issue with the computer. I think it was the uh, contempt function. So computers basically have com contempt for humans, unsurprisingly, and um, and so for that reason, it's like, well, we have two rooks, you've got two pieces, so the contempt factor on the computer is so high that it actually decides to uh, sacrifice. Um, uh, Jules just puts it, puts it. For her. I wanted it so bad and he did it. Now take the room! Now take the room! <laughs> what a move! 